Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle and today I am unbagging my Ipsy bag from January 2018. So let's get started! I did see that there was an eyeliner and an eyebrow product, I think, as well as a highlighter. So those are the only things I did not put on my face today, and so we are going to be trying these products on. This is what this month's bag looks like, and it's kind of an athletic pattern, almost reminiscent of um, a tennis shoe. <laughs> it reminds me of like that mesh in the front of a shoe, you know? Um, and it even has like laces as the um, the little zipper What is this called the little zipper dongle thingy? Looks like shoelaces, so that's really cute. Not totally my style. I'm not the most athletic gal, but cute nonetheless So let's open this bad boy up and take a gander at what's inside So here is the card and it says game face and on the back it says I will conquer blank and there's a little blank for you to fill in the blank I will conquer this video and it will be awesome anyways so the first thing I see in this bag is a pure lease product it is the Pure Lease Prevent Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. Gently resurfaces, detoxifies, brightens, tightens, smooths. It's a 10 minute facial for all skin types and including sensitive skin types. Let's see. Blue Lotus Extract, it's a powerful antioxidant, white clay, bamboo, ginger, mushroom, white tea. Ooh, looks like really interesting ingredients in here, but I believe Pure Lease always has some pretty interesting ingredients. Doesn't smell like anything so far. Let's see. Just gonna squeeze a little bit onto my finger there. Ooh, that smells kind of... It smells kind of just lotion-y. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, there is some exfoliating beads in here. That looks like a really... It looks like it'll be a really nice mask. I don't know how much you can see that. But yes, some granules in there for sure. So I'm excited to try that. Can't go wrong with mud mask and exfoliant. Okay, next product in the bag. This is a Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave in Hair Perfector. So, this is a hair product, not a face product, even though it's called a CC cream. Apply evenly to clean towel dried hair, style as desired. So, this looks like it's a, like a leave in conditioner. It smells kind of citrusy almost. I don't know. I just put hand lotion on, so everything's kind of mixing with that. So can't really tell, but I'm excited to try this out. And again, can't go wrong with another leave-in conditioner. Okay, looks like we're moving on to makeup products now. And let me start with this one. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Stay Put Brow Gel. Okay, brow gel, and it has like a, is this like a brush? Oh, yes, it is a brush. So it has a brush that kind of, comes off here and then I think you can yep stick it right in there and open it up Let's see okay and then ah! Ah! Ooh. ow that kind of hurt so this is in the shade cardamom and it looks a little light to me for my brows. My brows are basically black, but we'll see. Let's try this on. This is not the most, it's not the best shaped brush for eyebrows in my opinion. It almost looks like a lip brush. Okay, going in. definitely a bit light. I have never used a brow product this light before and I do not like this brush so I'm going to switch to 
the eyebrow brush I like using. Yeah, switching to a different brush was a really good idea. Because this is going on so much nicer. So this brow gel is obviously not my favorite. <laughs> um, the brush is useless. I do not like it at all. Um, the shade is a little bit light for my brows, but I don't know. I think I can actually make it work. It's not too bad once I have it on. It looks a little light in the bottle, but then um, once I have it on, it kind of, the warmness of it matches my uh, balayage and it kind of does work. So not really complaining there. And I do like that it feels kind of waxy like it is holding my brows in place but I'm not sure how well that's going to last throughout a day so I would probably have to wear this a little bit more it definitely applies better with a proper eyebrow brush I'll probably have to give this um, a couple more tries to decide if I really like it or not but um, obviously not super blown away okay next we have an eyeliner um, and I just spent five minutes trying to get the damn packaging off of this thing those shrink wrap things without serrations. How is anybody supposed to get that off? Seriously. Think of the people. Anyways, this is the Ciate Fierce Flix Liquid Eyeliner. Looks like it's just a regular felt tip marker. So let's give this a try. Probably shouldn't have put on mascara first. It's gonna make it a little bit difficult. actually really easy to draw that line. That was a lot more effortless than most eyeliners, I feel. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit and do the other eye. That wing got a little bit out of hand, so I'm gonna fix the other side real quick. That somehow got really dramatic really fast. <laughs> and um, part of it was because, I mean, it, it went on, I don't know, at first, the first eye went on really nicely, and then the second eye, it felt really dry and it wasn't going on like super smooth. I had to go over it a couple times. It almost felt like, you know, like you're trying to write with a dry marker, but at the same time, I don't know, it was dry, but it wasn't like it was running out because obviously it shouldn't be running out. It was brand new, but I'm going to keep playing with this because I really, I did like how it went on and I like how it's so black and um, really pigmented. So definitely going to keep using this and Wanting to see how well it wears too. Can't really tell if it's gonna smudge or bleed throughout the day, but we'll see. Okay, the final item in the bag is... <gasps> the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is like a cult favorite, right? I've heard about this multiple times, but I've never actually tried it myself. And I don't know, I guess this is... I, don't, I haven't heard about it a lot recently, but maybe in like 2016, it seemed like a really popular highlighter. And, oh good, it's not in a super tiny pan, it's in a decently tiny pan. So it says this can be used as a highlighter, shimmer, and eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter brush, and let's just go right in. Right off the bat, I notice that it's not super intense. Um, it's kind of somewhere between a natural highlighter and a super intense highlighter, I would say. 
maybe even a little bit more on the natural side. I put a little bit on my nose, up the bridge. Some on my chin. Um, probably won't reach for this too often as a intense highlighter just because I really like my highlighters and this one is pretty natural, but I will reach this on natural days or just, you know, everyday makeup days, um, or no makeup days. Ooh, this would probably be really pretty on a super, super minimal face and then you just have, bam, a pop of highlighter. All in all, nice to have. It is a favorite of a lot of people, so I'm gonna play with it. A little bit more just like I will with the rest of these products. Alright everybody that's my ipsy bag unbagging. I hope this was fun for you. Um, it's always fun for me to open up a little package and see what's inside and try them on and now I get to do that in front of a camera so that's always fun. Thank you for joining me in my ipsy bag unbagging today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment telling me what you got in your ipsy bag and if you don't get ipsy bags then let me know if you're going to subscribe or not. Um, that is it for today and I will see you next time. Bye bye! So the first thing I see in the bag is, whoa, Fies brightens, tightens, smooths, smoothens, smooths. <laughs> okay, so it's a hair product, not a CC, not a skin fix paint. All right, next we have a, a bleh. come on. Why? Why is there no... <sighs> I'm trying to show you this eyeliner, but it, I can't get it open. I can't get the stupid plastic off of it. There's no serrated line. <sighs> I'm gonna break my nails doing this. Do I have something that'll... <sighs> oh. A super intense... Is that this? my brush cleaner. Getting an Ipsy Glam Bag. If you're new to makeup, 